is Fran Fulton. I live right here in Center City, Philadelphia, and I have retinitis pigmentosa. RP is something that you're born with, and it's a degeneration of your peripheral vision. If the eye's like a camera, an old style camera, there's a lens in the front and then film in the back. The film is the retina, the thin film. And in that film are vision cells, and those vision cells begin to die off over time. The past 25 years when I really lost my functional sight, I've been in almost a constant state of loss and grief. Her sons, both sons have retinitis pigmentosa, and she was hoping that she could be a trailblazer and maybe do something for her sons. It was absolutely heartbreaking to learn that my children had RP. Very painful. It was very, very, very painful. But um, I didn't want that message to come across to my children. I never wanted them to think that life wasn't worth living, because it is worth living. You just do things differently, that's all. I'm Dr. Alan Ho, and I'm a retina surgeon at Will's Eye Hospital. We've been working on the Argus implant for patients that have been blinded from retinitis pigmentosa, a degenerative disease of the retina. In terms of what this means for, for ophthalmology, um, this is a game changer. You know, this is the first time we've been able to actually take somebody who can't see and give them vision. I am really, really so grateful that Will's Eye is, is um, available to do this extraordinary, extraordinary, exciting procedure. So the surgery itself involves taking a piece of hardware, a microelectrode array, making incisions on the outside of the eye, placing it on the macula inside the eye, positioning it, and then closing the wounds that allow this device to go in. The genius of the surgery and the device is that once the hardware is placed inside of the eye, it communicates wirelessly with a camera hooked to the middle of a pair of sunglasses and to a processing unit that takes the image from the camera, downgrades your face, takes, minimizes the details and gets the shape to a processor, which then sends the downgraded information to the sunglasses and wirelessly transmit data and power to the electrode arrays to fire those arrays, those microelectrodes, that correspond to the edge of a door or to uh, something that you would navigate on the street. Hey, I look left to right, I see. What's is that the edge over there? That's yep. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh. Julie. Yep. Ah! <laughs> what Argus has done for me is provide me with information that I can process. And I'm looking at the walls and I'm picking up other objects on the walls. This is a huge step in and of itself, but it's only part of the multi-pronged scientific effort that's going forward in terms of vision restoration and neuroprotection. I think right on the horizon now are a huge number of developments that will make great strides for people who have visual challenges. I've been able to um, identify thresholds, like a, a doorway. I've been able to, to find the two sides of a doorway and walk through it without hitting it. Elevators, I can see, uh, I can identify people in a room. No, I can't see their faces, but I can, I can see the image of where they are. Like anyone who sees just darkness, she's been limited. And this opportunity for her uh, and and this technology has been, has been really transformational for her. Uh, I am hoping that, from my experience, people will be, you know, um, inspired to look into having the surgery for themselves so that more people with RP can, can quote unquote, see again. Mm -hmm.